I'm a sports fan too. Like, I don't want people to just come in and change stuff for no reason. I know you're not like directly a Warner Brothers employee. I think you like. I don't think presenters normally really yeah. are. They just, it's sort of, you're like contracted to yeah. do stuff. I don't know. But you're like, you've become the face of the, the live broadcaster stuff. Mm. And I mean, I, I think it's getting a little bit better, but certainly last year there was a lot of, you know, people don't like change and it was a big change moving to Warner Brothers and, you know, certain things people were obviously weren't very happy about. Mm. How's it been being like exposed to that, I guess? Mm. Well, I think, I mean, obviously people, people, what we've been talking about with sport generally, like people fall in love with everything around their sport and they yeah. feel really strong sense of ownership, um, which they should. And I hope gradually, you know, people start to feel like we're part of their of their gang too but yeah. of course you know all the stuff that rob warner did was so was so great you know you talk about the vocal range like the stuff that he did was he's a, he's a great commentator yeah he bleeds passion hey? yeah like, he's so great yeah. and of course people value that um and people don't like to realize people don't like to feel as though they're not it's their thing like why shouldn't they be able to just appoint someone and keep them <laughs> why not i completely get it yeah um of course yeah it, you know, it's my profession. I've come into those scenarios quite a few times. You know, I, I was part of a football podcast where there was a similar sort of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, football's pretty tough with its online chatter sometimes. I can imagine, yeah. Um, God, yeah. Um, so I've I've got experience of of kind of angry people on the internet. And I guess the first thing to say is that no, I kind of, I kind of respect the sentiment. Like nobody, okay. no, what well, as in like nobody, like I'm a sports fan too. Like I don't want people to just come in and change stuff for no reason. And it's hard. A lot of the stuff that's been really amazing that Warner Brothers have done is not really the kind of thing that you talk about. It, it's hard to talk about the cameras and various different and how we're trying to position stuff and doing doing the live show and sticking with the celebrations for as long as we can. Yeah, it's not. You can't. It's hard to really communicate that in like a that clear a way yeah, fair. people don't it's not that interesting to most people i don't think yeah but the fact of them coming in and saying we want to do this for eight years that is a serious investment in a sport and yeah i don't know look i'm not i'm not making the decisions obviously <laughs> but like yeah. i think there's a real it's clear from every time i talk to the the guys the bosses that this is something that they feel very passionately about trying to grow and about trying to reach new people now of course the challenge with that is as i well know from uh being a part of the squash world as well is like people sort of want new people but they sort of kind of don't as well yes do you know what i mean like because yeah, yeah. it's your area right yeah and it's the same it's the same in football as well you know yeah of course you kind of want lots of people well i do but I i'd like everyone in the world to support Tottenham. but if you've been doing it for a long time and then there's all these like johnny come lately's turning up and da 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 you're yeah. a bit like you haven't earned this and it can change the culture as well i think to an extent like mountain biking especially downhill is such a core yeah. kind of raw thing that i think people do worry that like it becomes polished and it loses its it loses its edge and yeah. i think we, yeah it's been talked about with various sports coming into the olympics like skateboarding and yeah you know all this kind of snowboarding and stuff like what does it change the culture yeah and i and i don't know the answer to that and i i guess my maybe i'm a bit of a softy but i do just yeah, I do just love, I have this, you know, dream that people could just feel welcome in any, any sport. But yeah. I totally understand from being a bit tribal myself sometimes <laughs> that that can't, you can't instinct, you know, you can't help what you feel yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Um, the thing I'd say about the online stuff is, I don't know, sometimes it is a bit mean. <laughs> 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 and, and I don't know about that. Like, as I'm saying to you, I've experienced that a lot in in football and on Sky. And I think, you know, quite often, I never remember one. Um, this is, don't worry, I'm not about to start crying, although I know that's what you secretly want. Yeah, um, we're going full Stephen Bartlett. Yeah, hello. Um, I, <laughs> no, I, this is actually just funny. Um, I was doing a, a shift on Christmas Day at Sky. Okay. Which is not the, uh, it's not the dream shift. No. Uh, but yes, I was on Sky Sports News uh, doing however many hours it was 
uh, I think I must have just been the one, you know, I didn't have, what am I, I didn't have kids. And so I was, <laughs> no, you had I, no, you had no good excuse. I was happy to do it. Yeah. You know, I was also like low, I only just joined. So of course I should do it. Lots of other people have done it before. Perfectly happy. But it's not, it's not the dream place you want to be on, on Christmas day at whatever time great. it was when everyone else is eating their bloody turkey. And someone tweeted, someone tweeted to me at Cameron Mason, happy Christmas to everybody Except Kate at KVL Mason because she's a fucking slag. Or something. I was just, I can't it wasn't exactly that, but it was something like that. It's a pretty full on Christmas gift, isn't like, it? You are a strange individual. <laughs> <laughs> In a way, it's quite an honour, isn't it? That, that yeah, I'm in to be someone's head out to, that strongly. That day, yeah. yeah, I don't think. I don't think. To be fair to him or her, I don't think she called me a slag. It wasn't, but it was that kind of tone. She's yeah. a bitch or something. I was just like. Guys, you got it. You got to not <laughs> wind like, it back a bit. That's an odd, that's an odd bit of behaviour. Yeah. So yeah, I think I feel I feel like I've kind of seen it all before in a yeah. sense. So honestly, I, I respect the fact that people don't don't necessarily want to see change, and I get that we've got to like kind of earn the right to yeah, to okay. to show that we're here and we're serious and we're working as I've said to you with my spreadsheets, you know, we're working hard yeah. to try and both really do the now and also to know about the past and to respect that and to build that into the coverage. Yeah. But it is obviously a challenge and we, I get why people won't um, immediately be happy with that. On the flip side, I would say, and again, you can call me a bitch if you want to, you can. Uh, it's fine. I don't really mind. I might tell you to fuck off sometimes. <laughs> I sometimes treat myself. Depends what mood we catch you in. Yeah. Yeah. I think I tend to do it like occasionally just because I yeah. don't think you, it's a bit standing up to, I think if people are saying mean stuff to you all the time, I you, think it's fair to, you probably yeah, should yeah. occasionally say, yeah. but, we, but also by the way, I do get some like lovely stuff. So it's, I don't want you to think this is oh, okay. <laughs> She's just sitting in a cave crying. Um, but what I would say is that if you are being really horrible all the time, First of all, I don't think it's good for you. Like yeah. just just saying lots of mean stuff. It's just You're I'm reading a lot of psychology. Yeah, yeah, I I do a I write a column in the Metro now and yeah. I try and kind of tie sort of sports things I've thought about that week to psychology. I just think that's really okay. interesting. Like again, this subject of communities, like how it, sport can be such a powerful space for good. Yeah. And I try and like talk about, oh, you know, here's some research saying if you do this, then this might happen. Uh -huh. And I think there's this thing which I wrote about last week, I think, co-rumination. So the idea that if you're talking to people about your problems, that can be good, but there's a kind of point at which it flips where if you were just spending your time, you and me sitting at work, for example, yeah. and we're constantly just like saying, having the same old conversation about the same manager we think is a prick or whoever, yeah. that is apparently not good for your wealth, welfare. And okay. you can, you actually, your kind of level of uh, reported, self-reported like close to depress depressive symptoms can yeah. be increased by doing that. Uh, okay. And I actually think some of the stuff that people do online is is not helping their own welfare. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So on the, on the one side, um, it's, it might not be good for you. Yeah. And on the other side, there's like admin teams and young men and women working on those accounts who you don't maybe see. And it's not, it's not nice. I don't think really they should have to wade through all of that stuff. But yeah. I totally respect the rights for people to feel any yeah, way yeah, they want to no, feel. It's kind, of, it's kind of interesting to hear you have that take on it that it's like we've, I feel I have to earn my place here yeah, of course. and that I don't just stroll in and like, it's all good from day one. But, so how's the, how's the sort of feeling in the, once you're at the events now, you're a year and a half in, are you yeah. starting to feel more comfortable, more welcome? You're obviously starting to get to know some of the characters a bit more and yes. that comes across in the interviews, I think as well. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, no, it's so much, it is obviously a lot easier once you kind of know everybody and you yeah. can just be like, Hey, you know, come and have a chat. And plus um, I keep, name checking him because i think it's quite cool that we get to hang out but aaron gwen and, and and you know and reese as well they've all been yeah and miriam you know they've all just been really welcoming and because they were part of the team of mm. the you know because they were injured they came and did a bit of punditry in some cases um they have been really support like it's it's really helped that kind of support not yeah. just on the knowledge side but also just they understand i think a bit more about what we're trying to do like jackson yes. golson came in just for two minutes to the broadcast the other day we had like two seconds to get him on air just and say some stuff and uh yeah bless it like afterwards he was very like oh yeah like that was actually quite complicated wasn't it you know he's <laughs> a bit more hyped up about how about what we're trying to do and why it's complicated yeah um so that's been wicked and yeah just 
just, I don't know, having lots of friendly faces. That's cool. It yeah. does make a real difference because we're traveling, you know, it's not the it's easiest thing circus. to get to. Yeah. You know, all the, tra- the tra- I get very car sick and all the transfers <laughs> are quite serious. Um, so yeah, when you rock up and you've got people to chat to, it's yeah. just the best. And that's cool. And I think having people like Aaron and Miriam and Reese know you and know that you're trying to do a good job that mm-hmm. like most of the riders respect those riders yeah and therefore they start to be like okay well if Aaron thinks that these guys are doing a good job then yeah then I think that, that is... whole like acceptance piece probably starts to improve so yeah and I think also you know everybody's watched the tv before so they kind of think they don't maybe they they don't maybe think about how it is held together and that maybe that is a bit more complicated yeah you know I don't go into other people's jobs and start telling them they're doing terribly Do I might start. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun, wouldn't if, it? If Dave6392 keeps going off at me, I might. <laughs> <laughs> Class. 